Hi Frank, my name is Joe Tan. I'm an occupational therapy student from Grand Valley State University. Thank you for coming today. Today I'll be taking you through the Bay Area Functional Performance Evaluation. This test involves five different tasks that will help us understand more about the way you function in everyday activities. You should show some of the things that are easy for you to do and some that are more difficult. The whole test should take about 30 to 45 minutes. Each task will have a time limit and I will tell you when to start each one. For each task, I will ask you to repeat the instructions before you start. While you are working, I will be taking some notes. If you wish, we will have time to discuss the tasks after you are finished. Unless you have questions, we will start the first task. Here is a jar with different kinds of shells. I would like you to sort the shells into the small cups. Specifically, I like to put all the shells that are the same size, shape, and color into the same cup. Please use all the same cups, all the small cups. Do you understand the instructions? Just sort the shells into the different cups according to their size and, and shapes. Okay, you can take up to four minutes for this task. I'll let you know when you have one minute to work. If you finish early, please tell me. Go ahead and begin. What if they all look alike? You have one minute left. But I'm not finished yet. The time is up now. Are you finished? No. I'm sorry, but it's time to start working. Stop working now. What skills are you using in doing a task like sorting shells? Oh no, no, you won't give me enough time. Thank you. Thank you. Now let's go on to the next task. The instructions for this task are written. I'd like to ask you to read them out aloud. Unless you have any problem with reading or seeing the words, go ahead and begin. The task will involve figuring out how much money would be needed to make some purchases. The details of the task are 1. A list of items and their costs will be written on a worksheet. 2. Some cash and a check will be provided. 3. The money from the check will be needed to buy the items. It should be endorsed and given to the examiner for exchange for cash. 4. If any money is left after the purchase, the amount should be recorded on the worksheet. Do you understand the instructions? Yes. Please, please repeat the instructions and include all the details you can remember. You're going to provide me a list of things and I'm going to use cash and a check provided and then record whatever money is left. Here's the worksheet. The cash is in the envelope and a check made out to you. You can take up to eight minutes for this task. I'll tell you when you have two minutes left to work. Go ahead and begin.
Bless you. For this task, I'd like you to draw a floor plan for a home. If you're not familiar, familiar with floor plans, here are some examples of different types of floor plans. For your plan, I'd like you to draw a 5 by 7 inch rectangle on this paper. The box will represent the outside walls of a one story home. There are four other things for you to keep in mind when you do the plan. The home should be for four people. It should include at least four rooms from the list I will give you and there should be an opening in the lines to show where doors are. Each of the rooms should be labeled. Do you understand the directions? Yes. Please repeat the instructions that include all the details you can remember. Draw a 5 by 7 rectangle and place rooms in there on that list that you're going to give me for people of 4 and label the rooms and leave openings for doors. Here's a list of rooms, paper, and pencil, and a ruler. You could take up to eight minutes for this task. I'll let you know when you have two minutes left to work. If you finish early, please tell me. Go ahead and begin. The last task, I'd like you to draw a picture of a person doing something. You can show the person doing anything you wish. This isn't a test of your ability to draw, so just do the best you can. However, I would like you to ask you to not to draw the person using stick figures. Do you understand the instructions? Yes. Here are the drawing materials. You can have to take up to five minutes for this task. I'll let you know when you have one minute left to work. If you finish early, please tell me. Go ahead and begin. One minute left. I'm done. Can you tell me what the person you you're drawing is doing? 
she was cutting herself. In general, this has been an evaluation of how you work on different tasks. This last task has been something different. What do you think can be learned about people by asking them to draw a picture of a person doing something? I suppose that when you ask someone to draw a picture of themselves, it could show their mood, like how I want to kill myself right now. Thank you. That was the last test. Do you have any questions?